We've all seen the often outrageous images of the paparazzi chasing down celebrities for that money shot. But according to our next guest and former paparazzo, Jennifer Buell, the author of Shooting Stars, the public doesn't have the whole story. She says some of the celebrities are actually doing the chasing. They want to be caught. So you talk about collaboration. Give us some examples of some stars who like the paparazzi. Uh, well, a lot of, when I was working, which was about five years ago, there was the Britney Spears, Lindsay Lohan. Right now, there's a lot of the Bachelor and Bachelorettes, the reality show people. Kim Kardashian makes 60% on her photos. Um, so she's a big one that does it right now. Tori Spelling. So now when she people makes 60%, right. what does that mean? So all of them don't get paid on their photos, but some of them work out deals with a photo agency. So they actually are on the payroll. And they get uh, a cut, so that you know, Kim calls and says, "I'm going to be here," and and then they they cut her out 60 percent. That's a really sweet deal. So I thought that your book was really interesting because I also thought that the exploration of this with um, Heidi and Spencer, I think, mm. really started it. If you don't remember Heidi and Spencer from The Hills, they were the first to really call. I, I that's just yeah. my opinion yeah. to work the system. <laughs> for their own advantage and for their own gain, which I think a lot of people don't realize the celebrities are selling the stories to the magazines that you're picking up and reading. Right. I mean, I ta I have a whole paragraph on Spidey in mm -hmm. there because it was with my agency who I was working with, and I just found it so fascinating, just the way it would work and how you know Spencer would call my boss and they'd be like, well, what you know, what should we do today? Like, what you know, let's what go to the pumpkin patch. Yeah. What mm -hmm. haven't we seen? Or Heidi could hold like big melons, you know, at the grocery store. Yes. Or something. Yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they would just you know go on and on until. Like eventually, I think the tabloids are like enough. Of right. Spidey. Well, if somebody <laughs> doesn't tip you off, how do you know where the stars are going to be? Right. So, I mean, for most of us, really, it is work. You know, we're not getting sure. tipped off day after day. Um, and we do two things: we either troll around the city looking for them, um, looking in cars, looking at Priuses and Range Rovers specifically, because that's why is that? That's what they drive. Yeah. For mm -hmm. the most part, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. Get a Camry. We'll never see you. That's <laughs> what we're right. Okay? If you don't want to be seen by the paparazzi, you know, buy what everybody else drives. Yeah. Um, but the other thing we do do is we doorstep and and that's like a, a paparazzi term there's a dictionary of paparazzi terms in the back of shooting stars but um, the the idea of doorstepping is is just simple it's, it's what it sounds you go to their house in the morning you go to their door and you wait for them to leave and you follow them to the hopefully the gas station or Starbucks or whatever and get a yeah. shot well someone who has been very documented in the tabloids is Paris Hilton but you say she doesn't work with the agencies for, to my knowledge she's never worked with the agencies but she works the media so brilliantly. I talk about Paris in my book because I just, I we, I love to watch her. We all do because mm -hmm. she's just a media genius and the way that she sort of establishes her own photo shoots and she's so strategic about what she wears and to my to my understanding she makes a lot of money on the clothes and the bags that she carries around and gets photographed. So she's probably like one of the biggest models in the whole wide world, the wow. biggest supermodels. Well the other end of the spectrum are some stars that really don't like the paparazzi like Halle Berry. Absolutely, and there's definitely a slew of those, so I don't want to pretend that everybody works so just chummy all the time. Yeah. And there's a lot of stories about like the dark side of paparazzi and, and how it can be really negative and really difficult. Julia Roberts and No Universe will ever like it. The Olsen twins hate it. Olsen twins, though, are another example. They drive around in like a, you know, a big black G-Wagon with red brakes. I mean, they might as well spray paint Olsen twins hey, on the we're car, here. right? Right, you know? exactly. If you don't like us, there's just so many, so many ways to avoid the paparazzi. What about these calls, though, for legislation? Right, you have Kristen Bell your, and mm -hmm. yeah. I, you know, I'm a mother, so to some degree, I do like understand that you you just, you know, you have just a totally different perspective, and you're protect so much more protective, you know, in that role as a mother. So I I get I get it, and I think it's nice that the paparazzi are laying off a little bit with that because they are in LA they're just really laying off but let me be honest like the people that are affected by that on a day-to-day -day basis are probably like three mm -hmm. you know like Jennifer Garner Halle Berry is really about all that I can think of they live in the center of town they're always going out maybe Reese Witherspoon but in general people with kids in Hollywood might be photographed once every six months with their children and I don't look at that as a huge you know problem. Right. What are your honest. thoughts, though, about kids? Because I think that's where a lot of people think the paparazzi crossed the line. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, whenever working children, paparazzi are extremely respectful. I think Kristen Bell is saying something different, but I've actually never even seen her child 
in print, so I don't think she has experience uh, to speak about it, but I have only seen like a lot of respect when kids are around. Long lenses, very polite talk. When Miley Cyrus was 15, we didn't use bad words around her. Seriously. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That, yeah. Those were kind of the rules that Billy Ray yeah. established. We well, did. We use long lenses, and we never use bad words. There is just a, another code yeah. that you that the paparazzi live. It's I and can you sit can here and talk to you for an hour about shooting stars. It's really so interesting. <laughs> Jennifer Buell, thank you so much for stopping by. And the name of the book again, Shooting Stars, is thank on you. sale now. Very thoughtful. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.